Hi there. Welcome to the Seven Peaks Guest Portal. My name is John. I have created a series of short videos that walk you through each aspect of the Guest Portal. This particular video has all of those video segments spliced together back to back in one video. If you do not wish to get a thorough walkthrough of all of the features at once, you can stop this video, log in, and go to the help link in the upper right hand corner and watch the individual video segments for each feature that you have questions on. Let's start by logging into the portal. First, type into your browser the URL guest.7peaks.com. Once to this page, you'll be prompted to log in using an email address and password. The email address being requested is the email address that is tied to your 7peaks account. If you've ever had a pass of all passes, then you already have an account and should not create a new one. Now, enter your password and click to log in. If you've never logged in to this guest portal, then you'll have to recover your password by clicking the Forgot Password link here. You will receive an email that looks like this. Click on the link to load the Reset Password page. Now, create a new password. If you don't know what email address is tied to your account, or the one you tried isn't working, go to support7 submit a new support ticket, and we'll get the right email address on file shortly. You'll be notified when this has been done. Now that you've logged in, the first screen you'll see is the home page. If you look at the top of the page here, you'll see various tabs that help you navigate to different pages in the portal. This home screen will also show you different news and information like upcoming deals, announcements, or anything that we think you'll be interested in. Another important section of this page is the account notifications section. This will show you if any of your memberships are within 30 days of expiring. But, if you're all up to date, nothing will display here. The first sub-tab under the My Memberships tab is called Guest Memberships. Here you'll see a list of all the guests associated with your account. If you select any of these guests, their personal information will populate below. Here you can see their photo, birth date, email address, phone number, and other relevant information. Feel free to change any of this information if it is not correct by simply editing the appropriate fields and clicking Save Changes when done. Notice that you can also upload a new image to this guest by simply clicking this icon in the upper right corner of the image. You can upload the photo by clicking on this blue box. You have different options for editing your photo before it's uploaded, like cropping, rotating, or resizing. When you're done editing the photo, click Save. If you'd like to add a new guest to your account, simply click the Add New Guest button here and fill out the information upload a new photo, and hit Save Changes. The second sub-tab of the My Memberships tab is called Shared Memberships. You'll be able to see all memberships that are shared across the account. Annual tube rentals, annual parking passes, and buddy passes are examples of shared memberships. This means that any guests associated with this account can access these memberships. For example, if I have one parking pass in this shared memberships area, anyone listed on the account can use that parking pass by scanning their Pass of All Passes barcode at the parking booth. I can click this Renew button to send this membership to the cart for checkout. 
there is a video segment that outlines the checkout process in detail. The third sub-tab of the My Memberships tab is called Get Memberships. From this page, you'll be able to purchase new memberships like Passable Passes, and also purchase shared memberships like Tubes and Parking. Let's do an example. Let's say I want to buy a Passable Passes for my daughter. I click on the Add Guest Membership button, select the membership I want to buy, in this case the Passable Passes, click the Next button, and then I'd select the guest name for whom I want this pass to be associated. In this case, I'll select my daughter. This pass for my daughter has been added to this section here. If I'm done selecting memberships for purchase, I can click Send to Checkout here. There is a video segment that outlines the checkout process in detail. Now let's purchase a Season Tube. I'll click the Add Shared Memberships button, select the Season Tube, and it will add to the section. Remember that this is a shared membership, so it will not be tied to an individual guest on your account. Now I'll click the Send to Checkout button. There is a video segment that outlines the checkout process in detail. In the Renewal section, you'll find all your current, non-expired memberships and your memberships that have been expired for 30 days or less that are eligible for a special renewal pricing. You can check the boxes of the memberships you want to renew and click Send to Checkout. There is a video segment that outlines the checkout process in detail. This is a quick way to renew all your memberships. It has the same effect as before when I clicked that Renew button over on these tabs. Let's take a look now at the checkout process. You'll notice that the cart icon shows that six items are currently in the cart. If I click the icon, I can see my cart and review my purchases. Let's pretend that I actually don't want to renew one of these season tubes. I can click delete here next to that item and it will remove it from the cart. Assuming everything looks good, I can click the payment button and enter my credit card information. Once that has been approved, the cart will be cleared and all of these items will show in the appropriate sections where we found them before. The Account Information tab shows all the information tied to the account. This is different than information tied to a guest. You can change any of this information by editing the fields. Click Save when done with your edits. An important thing to note here is that this email address is the email address used when you log into the guest portal. If you change this email address to something else, it will also change the email that you use to log in. However, your password will remain the same. The last sub-tab in this section is Transactions and Receipts. Here you can view transactions that were tied to your accounts from any Seven Peaks purchase. For example, if you pay for memberships on this portal, or through Seven Peaks staff, or even if you purchase items from inside any of our facilities and tied your account to the transaction, those receipts would show up here for your information. Let's look at the tab called My Digital Passes. Here you'll be able to see each guest on the account in this convenient slider. Each guest has a unique barcode associated. You can use this barcode the same way that you use your physical plastic membership card. You can show this at the parking booth to use your season parking pass. Or you can show this at the front entrance for admission. And you can show this to use your season 2 rental. I imagine you'll only be using this feature on a mobile device. You can scroll through each guest on the account by clicking these arrows, forward and back. Also, you can hit this Print My Passes button to download a PDF file with all the guests and their barcodes on it. You can then print this paper and bring it into the Seven Peaks facilities to use as your pass.
Well, that concludes our demonstration together. But before you go, I'd like to draw your attention to a few more helpful features. You can change your password or log out of the portal by clicking on your name in the top right corner and selecting the appropriate link. If you need additional help with individual features, you can always click the help link here, which contains a short video demonstration explaining each feature separately. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful as you begin to use the Seven Peaks guest portal. We look forward to seeing you at Seven Peaks, where the fun never ends.